Oh, it's recording. Okay, we're recording. Oh, morning. Morning. Well, T Bay campsite. Really nice hidden gem. Apart from, I can't show you, but people up in head and then their mates next to us. They go on holiday with a. I'm not disperting, not, not trying to. I'm not trying to, um, smart you not found, okay. I'm not trying to uh, cast dispersions, but who goes on holiday with a transit tipper and their mate towing a wood chipper? You, you getting where I'm coming from? <laughs> and they've come from slow. Oh, I don't know, I think they want to run. Oh, we've got a bit of a little hill here. And parked so close. Parked so close to us. We barely get our car out. Yeah. <coughs> But really nice. Lovely campsite if you're flying up this way for a couple of nights or just needed a stopover. T Bay services in the campsite. 26 pounds. 26 quid, yeah, Online. it's good. Yeah. So, do we want to stop in the shop here? Um, Get some breakfast or something? Yeah, we haven't got any. Oh, they're in the caravan. <laughs> got some egg rolls, but they're in the caravan. Should we have a quick... Really want for breakfast. Let's have a look to see if we can see park what's open. easily. Uh, I think we can go here. Oh yeah, it's got big... That's all set up, isn't it? Yeah. They've got a hotel, they've got a restaurant. Very expensive fuel. And a shop that had some very fetching crockery in it. What got there? What's that sign say there? Does it say caravans? Uh, what does that say? Ooh. Coaches. Coaches. Okay, let's go in. So we're just going to go in a shop. You're all on a wonk anyway, so I'll speak to you all <laughs> later on. Cheers. Mark, here we go. Hello. Yellow warning, heavy rain forecast. It's a bit like the fog we had yesterday. That was like the fog that we... I don't know if we were on then, were we? Yeah, we saw yeah. the fog signs. So we're just going out to Gretna, so I haven't seen the Scotland signs. Should be round here somewhere. So are we in Scotland now or not? I don't know. Oh. I don't know, Scotland's still ahead, look. There's the oh. sign. Oh, here's the Scotland sign. Take a picture. Don't know if we might not see it because he's got in the way. Oh. oh that's not it, it's works you know only. Huh? I just picked a, took a picture of the works you know only. <laughs> that's the one there, darling. Okay, got there it. There you go. So we're now in Scotland. Och, I do know. So we've got 253 miles to our destination. This could be our new country. Yep. Looks like it's going to be home. Yeah. Looks right so far. Yeah. I wonder where it says McDonald's back there. I wonder where he came from. I reckon Scotland. I reckon he might have. Via America. Yeah. Sam saying that she's got, she comes from um, that car. Oh, she comes from a friend of a friend of ours we met last night. She's during lockdown. She did all her um, ancestry. Ancestry, and she and she she discovered that she was um, related to some Scottish king. <laughs> Princess Anne. Yeah. 
So, <laughs> and there is, a, you know, when she traced all the names back and the and the uncles and the the family back, yeah, it's all it's all it's all proper. Maxwell. Maxwell's, yeah, yes. the Maxwell's, and uh, there is a, you know, there's a castle and everything. I nearly bought you an ancestry kit for your birthday. Uh, yeah. Does it cover the dodgy part of Naples? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you should do it. For those but of you that don't know, my grandfather was born in uh, Napoli and then emigrated to America and then came over during the war and then stayed here. So, yeah. You fell in love with your granny? Yeah. But he, is a, he was a born and, born and bred um, Italian. Heads. Hence the sunny. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what was his job before the army? He was an armourer. <laughs> in New York? In New York. Uh -huh. <laughs> in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Andy job? I wonder, what, I wonder what he was doing. I wonder, you know, how many armourers were needed in 19, early 1940s in New Jersey and where, and where your main... Um, source of income was coming from <laughs> as an <laughs> opera. <laughs> yeah, no I think you should I think you should definitely do it. Yeah. But there are two sorts. There was one where you could just you just literally Don't forget to speak did up. you did literally just did um your what you were. Yeah. And then there was another one that you could then go on the register. Oh, okay. So you could then Link oh, yourself, link yourself. With, yeah. Oh, okay. So you could, yeah. I'd like to do my DNA, see where that comes from. <laughs> God knows. I'd like to do mine as well. Yeah. There's rumours that my great, 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 I don't know, I don't know how many greats back grandmother was a Spanish whore. Excellent. <laughs> that your mother's very impressed with that. No, father side. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> God, she'd still be praying. <laughs> these fir trees, I bet there's some fir cones up around here. We had some fir trees last night, but the fir cones are tiny, so I hope you're out there looking for big fir cones for me. Because all this is all starting to get a bit real now. The cats are on the line. We've glued a couple <laughs> and a couple of got Velcro jackets, so we're going to make it happen. What are the glued ones? What are the ones that are in the line? Well, I think they're half dead, so they, you know, they just sit there. Stuffed. Oh, right. No, yeah. but I mean, what in terms of the analogy? What in our life is is accounts for the cats that are on the line? They're staying there. Well, the fact we're breathing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's proper back to basics then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take anything I can. I can get. <laughs> I thought you meant things like we've been to see the mortgage guy and we oh, can do we've been it. To, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that. I might have said that. We've been to see the mortgage guy and the mortgage guy said yeah. So that was good. You were really scared, weren't you? I was, you know, because you never know, do you? You know, I might, might go, no, that's not doable. That's not possible. But he just, he seemed quite he intent on, he he seemed quite really intent on looking at properties for himself. Yeah. I think we might have converted him to go to Scotland. <laughs> yeah. Solutions focused, wasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Which I like. He wasn't computer says no. No, he was, the, you know, if there's a way round it. Well, not a way round it. That makes but, it sound dodgy. Yeah, it does, yeah. But um, things like land. Yeah. Lenders aren't happy on lending money on land. So we have capital. So, you know, we said, oh, we just want to, you know, get a mortgage. And he said, well, okay, right. Up to 12 acres. Up know. to 12 acres. But anything more than that, you buy the land outright with your capital. Then the rest is mortgage. So, but we didn't know that. No. We didn't know that that was a thing or how to overcome that. You know, otherwise we'd go to another lend, go to a bank, and the bank would just turn around and go, no, not give a reason for it or a working solution. They'd just go no. Mm. Whereas this guy was like, yeah, we can do that, but this is what we need to do to make it happen. You know, and it's like, oh, okay. 
Couldn't you? Yeah. Rather than a flat low, which is which is really good. Oh, so anyway, we're in the Scottish borders now, and um, I'll put you on when we get a bit further out the road. Do you feel comfortable? Do I feel comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Why? Well, you know when I go back to Holland, I just yeah. I just relax. Yeah. I always know I sort of have a feeling. Yeah, no, I, I feel, feel comfortable. I feel comfortable too. Yeah. Look at that over there, it's a castle. You see a castle? Yeah. A little one. The roads are so quiet up here as but well. Yeah, you might be able to sit through here. Oh yeah. The roads are so quiet up here as well. It's really noticeable. And good Nick. Yeah, it's really noticeable. Um, it's a bit like in Wales, they've had a lot of money spent over the last 20, 30 years on infrastructure up here. Oh, and I remember coming up here 20 odd years, even 20 years ago, and the M74 wasn't even, I don't even think it was an M, M I think it was an A. <laughs> what, and it was Yeah, it was just shitty dual carriageway with no hard shoulder. So you know, it's not the M6 anymore? Uh, I think we're still on the M6 at the moment, or oh, I don't know whether we're on the M6 or the M70, well I don't know. But nearly anyway. I think it could still be the M6 at the moment. First distillery. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, yeah, and it's, it's it's just uh, it's just seems to be a bit a bit different, a bit more different. Yeah. So anyway, I'll speak to you all later on. Cheers. Oh, we're on Hello. the uh, A9. Spectacular. Beautiful. Making good time. Roads are lovely, clear, very few potholes. Absolutely spot on. So we're north of Perth. 108 mile to go. So uh, yeah, roads are great. And fantastic scenery. I mean look at all this look. It's beautiful, isn't it? How could you not like this? How could you not like it? Some people don't. I oh, know, yeah. Urban, urban. They want Starbucks and coffee and Costa and fucking Domino's. That's not the game, that's the pizza. <laughs> Just gives us indigestion, doesn't it? Yeah, getting old. <laughs> can't have pizza. Oh no, can't have pizza. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> so, enjoying the drive. Nice and relaxing. For me? Yeah. No drama llamas, so no bears. No. Although got... there could be in this. Well, you, of... this is where you'd expect them to be. Yeah. I just saw that truck. I don't know if anyone else saw it. There's a flatbed truck went down there with bales of tyres. I picked up some bales of tyres the other day, and as he was loading them, one of them exploded. He's got them all <laughs> on an open flatbed. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if that's particularly safe. No. What do you mean it exploded? The whole bale exploded. They're wrapped in wire. Right. And the wire failed. So it's poof. Oh. So there's tyres everywhere. Mm. Oh, this is just spectacular. I said to uh, I said to the gorgeous girl, I could see me driving up and down these roads, you know. Trucking. Quite like it. Start off Aberdeen and go down to the south coast with a bit of fridge. bring it back up again. I could quite happily do that. That's not the plan. That's not the plan. That's not the plan. <laughs> <laughs> but a worst case scenario, it's not actually a worst case scenario. No. I mean, I have to say it has been a super easy drive since we've crossed the border to Scotland. Unbelievably so. super easy, yeah. I mean, Noticeably it's just a, different. Yeah. Not just, the, not just, there's, there's less people on the road. It's like, like and it's a nice, it's a nicer road. It's like you said, it's like being back in Europe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It has been. Definitely I don't, I don't know how we've got it so wrong. Yeah. Well, lots of lots of roads have been on. It looks like it's been re remade. Oh, Look at that. I don't know if you can see anything down there. It's a river. Got some mountains coming up. So we're 10 miles south of Pit Lockery, 95 from Inverness and 
I don't know what it was, to um, Aviemore, 75 I think it was. So we've got to go through sort of Aviemore, so we've got some more mountains to go. So I'll speak to you all later on when it gets a bit better. Better than this. Speak to you later. <laughs>